Hey everyone, I'm going to show you today how you can create a playground story with that new update that we published today. All right, so first thing first, that's important. If you go to playground and you go to the top right menu here, you may know that there is this reset playground option. Click on that and you're going to find two new options farm and ski resort. This is important because this is the only acceptable starting point when you build a playground story. For copyright reasons, today you cannot download an activity from the marketplace, build a playground story from that, and then publish it. The system won't allow, allow you to do that. So please, please start from one of those five playgrounds. Let's go with farm. So today for this video, I'm going to do a very simple playground story. And we're going to publish this to as a playground story. All right, here we are in the farm default playground and let me build a playground story to test my students on their knowledge of history see you soon hey it's me again so for this example i've put a trivia question on the blackboard who said veni vidi vici napoleon caesar or colonel sanders you're right, Caesar. And as you can see, if I drag and drop the right answer, the door opens. Let's go. A new concept that we've introduced in today's update of Koala Go is the concept of end screen. It allows you to set an ending area for your playground story so that your student knows that they've completed your playground story. Here is how you can configure one. Go to configure this playground, then configure story and end location. Set ending location is here. So I'm going to click on set location and put it right here. And this sliding cursor allows you to make it wider or smaller. So I'm going to set it to six blocks. Once you're done, click on back and then go to end screen. All right. So here you can write a custom message that will be showed to your students when they complete this, uh, this playground story and a GIF. So let's see if they have something Roman to be relevant. There we go. Very good. So now this GIF is going to be showed along with this message. We're good. One, uh, one last important thing I would like to mention is permissions. Go ahead and click there. And this will allow you to set the permissions that your students have when playing your playground story. You can allow first person view, allow top down view, allow or forbid drawing, placing blocks, removing blocks, etc. So on my end, I don't want them to be removing blocks. I don't want them to be able to place blocks. Otherwise, if they're able to remove blocks, they may dig a hole through the wall. And first, I'm going to make sure they are only in first person view. And no need to be able to create stickies. All right. That's it. My playground story is created. Now let's publish the playground story. Of course, before you publish your playground story, make sure that you remove the sticky notes from the action zone and place it here. All right, now that I've done that, I'm going to go to the top right, three lines and publish activity. And now I see two options on the left, marketplace activity for teachers and on the right, is playground stories 
Koala game for student independent work. So I'm going to click on this one and it will allow me to set my creator name, a short bio. Uh, you may want to be a little more specific than this, but explain to parents why um, a little bit about you, a little bit about what you teach and your experience. A title for your game, maybe history 101, a game description, etc. And then you're going to set the price. So here you can say, you decide whether it's free or for paying subscribers only. And this will be coming soon. You won't have this today, but hopefully in one week. Then you set the thumbnail and you can upload as many screenshots as you want. A YouTube video link is recommended. Don't forget to give credits for the content and the images that you use and a note for the Koala copyright review team. And then you'll need to check that you certify that you have the rights to distribute and sell the content in this Koala game. And then we're just going to click on continue and submit for review. All right. Now that we published our playground story, let's give three days to the Koala team to review and approve it. In the meantime, there's another new feature that you'll find in today's update. If you go to your activity library by clicking here, you'll see that we added a few tags. So for instance, this playground story is pending and this playground story is published. And oh, where do I see my Roman trivia playground story has been published. Great. So you can always check on the status of your stories by looking there. And once a story is published, you'll be able to click on the three dots here and get the story link. Click there and it says, share this playground story with the world. Send this link to your kiddos. Then they can play your story anytime they want by clicking on this link and hear them beg you to make more awesome stories. So let's copy this link and open it in a different tab. All right, I just opened this link and here's what I see. Uh, Test 11, very uh, great name for my story. And then begin adventure. So this will run on, on any device. It will run on iPad, on phone, on Android, iPhone, computer, Chromebooks, anything. And we're going to try to keep making it as mobile friendly as possible. And one area where we have a lot of room for improvement, obviously, is to decrease the loading time, which is still too long today. So we're going to work on that. Mm, that was relatively fast, actually. So here, let me move my video. Yeah, you can see there's no invite student button. There's just three um, basic buttons at the bottom, which are the ones that you allowed and your student falls from the sky. And that's it, a playground story that can be played by your students outside of Koala Go. You should be happy about that. And now let's move towards the area where we put the initial question. If they put the wrong answer, nothing happens. But if they put the right answer here, the door opens. Now here and Woohoo! We did it! So that's it. You know how a playground story works. You'll see that the, the student gets two buttons. The first one says share this game. And the goal, of course, is for your students to share this game with their friends by just copying this link. And the other option is to click on continue, which will allow them to share with friends or restart from the beginning. That's it. I hope you're excited about Playground Story. See you soon.